Hey, I'm photographer David Bergman, and this is Two Minute Tips for Adorama TV. I'm here at the Brooklyn Cyclones game in Coney Island to give you some tips on shooting better pictures, whether you're photographing professional athletes or your kids' soccer games. So if you're making sports pictures, and when you show them to people, they just go, meh. It could be because there's a lot of distractions in either your foreground or your background. You really want to keep your images as clean as possible so you don't draw your viewer's eye away from the subject of your photos. A lot of times you'll find there's a net or a fence between you and the field. You really don't want to shoot through that if you don't have to because your autofocus is going to have a hard time locking on your subject and at the same time it's really distracting to see that pattern in front of your subject. What you can do is go down the field a little bit and try to find an area that you can shoot around that net and get a clean shot of the subject. Sometimes you can't do that without being on the field of play or really angering the refs and you don't want to be that parent. So if you have to shoot through the net or the fence, what you do is get your lens right up against it, literally as close to it as you can, maybe a couple inches away. Open up your aperture all the way, that's the lower numbers, 2.8, f4, f5.6, something like that. And when you're right up against the net like that, the net practically disappears and you don't see it in your image. You'll notice if you move back even just a few rows of seats that you'll start to see that net in there and it'll be really distracting. You don't want to do that. Now that you have a clean foreground, you have to really look carefully at your background. Try to line yourself up so you have a nice, dark, solid background. If you have a bright background or a parking lot or just a person standing back there, it's really going to be distracting and not help your image in any way. The longer the lens you use, the more the background's gonna go out of focus, but even without a monster lens, you have to make sure to line yourself up and anticipate where the action is so that when it happens, your background is nice and clean. So there are a lot of other things that go into making a great sports photo, like using a fast shutter speed, shooting a lot of burst images, or getting a low angle when you can. But if you've learned nothing else today, it's all about composition. Make sure you clean up your foreground and your background so your focus is only on your subject, whether it's a professional athlete or your own future Hall of Famer. Thanks for joining me today on Adorama TV. Don't forget to subscribe for more amazing videos, follow me on social media at David Bergman, and go to the Adorama Learning Center for lots of other great tips and tricks.